This video will cover the topic, sketching the graph of y equals a times sine of x, or y equals a times cosine of x. For our first example problem, we will graph the following equation, y equals 1 half times cosine of x. What approach will we use in order to graph this equation? Great question. Before we graph our equation, we will first need to graph five key points of y equals cosine of x. These points will range from x equals 0 to x equals 2 pi. Each point will occur every pi over 2 units. This means that our five points are 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. What is the significance of these points? How will they help us in graphing this equation? Well, if we take our points and insert them into y equals cosine of x, the results of our y values will be 1, 0, negative 1, 0, and 1. Here we see that we have found the x-intercepts, minima, and maxima of one cycle of y equals cosine of x. Once we find the y values of the key points of one cycle of y equals cosine of x, we can repeat the cycle for every other cycle. This means that a graph from x equals 0 to x equals 2 pi will be the same as a graph from x equals 2 pi to x equals 4 pi. Each cycle will equal a unit of 2 pi. I'm starting to understand the concept of how to graph a cosine equation, but our equation has a coefficient attached to it. How do we account for the coefficient? We still follow the same steps as we would with a normal cosine equation, except we will distribute our linear term into our y values. Since our linear term is 1 half, the y values of our key points will be 1 half, 0, negative 1 half, 0, and 1 half. We now plug in our values into our graph. Remember that each cycle equals a unit of 2 pi, so we will repeat these key points for each unit of 2 pi. We then draw our graph, which results in our final answer. What would be the difference then between graphing a cosine equation and a sine equation? Excellent question. Thanks for pointing it out. We will use the same process to graph our sine equation as we did with our cosine equation. The only major difference will be the y values of our key points. For this example, we will graph the sine equation y equals negative 3 times sine of x. We first insert our key points into the equation y equals sine of x. This results in our y values of 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. Notice that the major difference between a sine and cosine equation is the placement of the x-intercepts, minima, and maxima. Our sine equation does still follow a cycle, with one cycle equaling a unit of 2 pi. This means that a graph from x equals 0 to x equals 2 pi will be the same as a graph from x equals 2 pi to x equals 4 pi. Now that we have found the y values of our key points, we distribute the negative 3 into each of the y values, which results in the y values of 0, negative 3, 0, 3, and 0. We now plug the values into the graph, which results in our final answer. I think I'm starting to understand the topic, but let me summarize just to make sure. In order to graph a y equals a sine of x or y equals a cosine of x equation, we first find the key points of a sine or cosine equation. After that has been completed, we distribute our a variable in the y values of the key points. We then plug our new y values into our graph, which results in the graph of the equation. Great job! It seems that you have an understanding on how to graph a y equals a times sine x or y equals a times cosine of x equation.